Yo, what's going on? It's the big guy Ryback here with feeding time, bitches. I'm just kidding. Nobody's nobody's a bitch. Where's my damn man-child food tray? Well, here it is. Ah, old trusty, old faithful. What a loser! Hold on, I gotta turn the damn wheel. We gotta get this thing. Ah, there we go. Today, guys, uh, get all situated, full loser mode. Um, healthy meal for you guys here, not a cheat meal. I gotta go to the DMV. I just got done training chest, and I did uh, 15 rounds of sprints. 14, I lied, 14. I did, I did two... Uh, 12 sets of 30 seconds of full-on sprint on that treadmill that's slanted that you can run full speed with your body weight you could adjust the level of the difficulty it's uh one of my favorite things just for all out conditioning now and sprinting uh 12 sets of 30 seconds on 30 seconds off just get the heart rate really going blows you up and then i did two i waited rested for two minutes and then I did two 45 second uh 145 second rest 45 seconds another 45 on then uh, done and uh and i'm slowly gonna try to get that into a minute and where uh eventually 30 seconds is my go-to on that 30 on 30 off and but eventually we get my conditioning built up enough to where like eventually i would be able to do like one three minute full-blown sprint the whole time i gotta work my way up to that 300 pounds it's not easy but it's actually not that hard either because i love conditioning but today guys healthy meal got to go to the dmv i got to renew my driver's license and uh, that's always fun. And uh, so I'm gonna fuel up with a healthy Chipotle carne asada steak. We got some cheese, we got mild sauce, hot sauce. We got white rice and pinto beans, smell it. One more, okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna dive right in guys. Um, I'm gonna, I like to mix it up a little bit. I got my napkins to wipe my face a ridiculous uh, amount of times throughout all of this. And guys, uh, I know a lot of you, you, you know, there's people that commend me for my wipe game, for how I wipe, keep my face clean. And there's others that just can't stand it. And I really give two shits either way. I do it because I have a beard, guys. When you have a beard, you learn quickly that food somehow always finds its way in it. And I, no, I don't get the, the most elaborate beard. I don't use any, you know, weird beard cream like other men. Some men do. I, uh, I, just, I just, this is all natural. And I'm lucky, knock on wood, I don't. I don't have any right now myself, but I don't have any in here. Um, that uh, where's Phoenix when you need her? The uh, knock on plastic. Uh, I'm not like Wade Baird or Stu Bennett, and you know he has like all that gray and shit. Like I've you know I'm 38. I'm young with the stem cells. I'm like 26 now, so and I'm probably gonna get more stem cells in my shoulder and lat here eventually. But I'm feeling great, guys. Shut the fuck up! Eat the food. We're sick of it. I know, guys. There's a lot of you that don't want to hear me talk. This is that carne asada steak. And I have a food tray, and I'm still holding the food. It's just for in case I drop it. It goes on the food tray. And because you guys can't see it, so I try to keep it. Some of you get really mad at that. Man, I love you guys. The support and the love on this channel. Absolutely a beautiful thing. We also, though, do get rid of all the bad comments. I believe in Rybackville, keeping a very positive, loving environment. Because you're all allowed to hate me. But when you take the time to actually do it, and leave a mean comment. In Rybackville, that gets, that's, that's hide loser, guys. Because you're choosing to be a loser doing that. I see stuff I don't like. I don't like that fucking car right now in front of me. It's not like I'm going to get out of my car and then knock on the window and go, Hey, I, you piece of shit, I hate your fucking car. That'd be, I'd be a real D-bag to do that. <sighs> but I got to go renew my driver's license. Work on my pose. You think they would let me do my driver's license picture like this? That would be nice. We're actually feeding me more nutrition, guys. 
just got off the phone today. It looks like we're getting, <clears throat> getting it worked out where the big guy is going to have some free time, not have to do all the physical manual labor work anymore after three years. And uh, looks like we may be going to fulfillment for the website and hiring a company to take over. And I am um, fucking ecstatic over that, guys. Because I love doing your orders. I love waking up at 5 a.m. most days. Sometimes 5.30, sometimes 6, depending on when I get to bed. <clears throat> and then, last thing I do before I go to bed, I love doing all your orders. It gives me great pride. It's my product. But I'm also going to be really, really fucking happy not to do it anymore, guys. Okay? If I could just be the boss. Uh, so, uh, hard work pays off. Hard work with a positive mental attitude. You got to you got to ride out the bullshit. It always pays off. And the work hasn't even begun yet, but a lot of good things have been happening. A lot of it's because of you guys, so thank you. Half our sales for Feed Me More Nutrition come off of YouTube now. That's huge. What a loser! I'll be a loser all day. Mm. It'll, be, it'll be fun doing this while if I go back to wrestling. It'll be fun doing these on the road. There's so many other, so many other options. It's like Step Brothers. So much room up here for activities. There's gonna be so many different options on the road. To eat out. Mm. God, it's so good. Now I just need to find love. Love that's not a prostitute, a hooker, an escort, stripper. Porn star. I need to find love, guys. I shouldn't probably should move to Montana, huh? And I say that because in Vegas, the majority of girls that are good looking tend to be involved because the money's so good in that industry. Guys, don't date strippers. Don't. A little too get from the big guy they're pretty but they'll screw your life up quick not mine but I've been down that path a time or two I like pretty women who does it can't wipe up a stripper I just can't can't. It's impossible. But man, are they fun to look at and do other things with. But outside of that, guys, don't do it. Keep them at bed. They're allowed to they're allowed to, to, to spend the night in Rybackville, but they're not allowed to, to move to Rybackville. You know what I mean? Oh, man. So good, guys. This is, uh, there's always ways to eat somewhat healthy on the road. This is probably one of my favorite go tos, this Chipotle bowl. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I do have more information too, but I'm not gonna have time because I gotta shoot down the DMV. I also do have a burrito for my next meal. Just because somebody's saying, oh, only a burrito bowl? Yeah, guys, I eat throughout the day. Oh, so good. People at my gym have been stopping me more now for pictures. I don't know why. I feel like when I get close to 300 pounds, people just all of a sudden then like, it's, 
Okay to ask for pictures again because it's but when I was like 280, it wasn't it was still happened, but not as much. I'd like to think I'm recognizable at any weight, but I don't know. I have to really be conscious of myself because sometimes I just like to be left alone so much because I'm always thinking or have stuff on and I've never understood pictures. I've never asked for one outside of the Arnold thing, which I didn't ask for, but was there for. Um, so I don't understand. For kids, I, I get it because kids don't know, but like adults oftentimes will want it just to kind of show off. But you can't, like, you can't assume anything with anyone. But there's just a way to do it. I don't know. You just get a vibe from people. Like, sometimes guys will follow you around. And then you catch them recording you. I've had this happen a lot. And then they want to come over. And then ask for a picture after they got, like, all these creepy recordings of you. And they're just like, come on, guys. I'll give a, I'll give a little bitch a lecture on that one. Because that's... It's like me, if I just, if there's a hot chick in the gym and you start recording them. Ah, oh, shit. Don't do it. See, it's bad karma. You, you get kicked out of the gym. So why is it okay to record a hot guy like me, huh? <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. Somebody's, you're not hot. You're ugly. You got a cone head. Big ass shelf forehead. Deformed nose. I'm still pretty. Strong and pretty. I, wait, Rod Robert Oberst. I can't do that. He's a big ass dude. Mm. All right, done. Back to the back seat, old food tray. That was the Chipotle guy, bowl, guys. Carne asada bowl. You can eat healthy on the road. You got to make a conscious effort of the foods you put in your body. You got to do, you're going to do what you're going to want to do. You're going to do what you know, what you were taught. Food is energy though, guys. And it all starts with what we put in our body. And if we put shit in our body more times than not, get tired, get lethargic. We're not active. We don't do the things that will help make us feel good. We wonder why people spend all this time on social media watching other people live their lives. And it's fine, we all watch people on social media, but when it consumes you and that's all that you're doing and you stop living your life, you gotta look at, you gotta go back to the very basics and see what you're doing. What are you putting in your body? Why are you putting that shit in your body? The, the, why are you eating donuts for breakfast or, or the, the, the breakfast cereals and eating this other stuff? And, and you have to look at the world. We live in an era where people are doing things strictly solely for money and it's up to us to learn about food and the energy that we put in our body. The people before us had this shit figured out a long time ago, guys, about what was healthy and what's not. And it's not until this modern era of big business coming in and a lot of misinformation. And uh, you can't, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin had it right all along, guys. Don't trust anyone. Motherfucking Texas rattlesnake. You know, the, 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 the goat of professional wrestling considered by many. I'd say uh, the, the hottest, it wasn't the longest, but for his stretch was untouchable. And even The Rock was, uh, and, and him and The Rock, you know, were neck and neck at points. But I, I think uh, Stone Cold had probably the greatest run of anybody ever. And, uh, you know, he says, don't trust anyone. I think there's a little something, something behind that. And uh, we gotta educate ourselves, guys. Healthy eating, though. That 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 bowl from Chipotle, guys. Two thumbs up. It's one of my go-to's when I when I'm able to get it. And uh, five stars. Five stars, you kids. Nah, it was very good, though, guys. And uh, yeah, let's have a great one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, turn on your notifications, share this. Let's get to a million subscribers so we can tell WWE to suck it, bitches. And uh, that Ryback trademark. We got shirts on Teespring, guys. If you want to buy, I support Ryback for that, for when I eventually got to file the cancellation on the WWE trademark on Ryback. And uh, I'm going to get it. I already have it. It's me. So it's just a matter of uh, 
spending the money and whatever with that. So it is what it is. But we have, I see people all the time with shirts. We got the, that's what she said ones. And all the, we have a ton of shirts on there. We're going to have more coming. If you guys in the comments want to see a certain design, please leave it. We will get that drawn up and done and get it on there. And uh, conversation with the big guy Ryback available on all podcast platforms. Feed me more nutrition on feedmemore.com. Save 10% with YouTube 10. Guys, thank you very much. I love you guys. Uh, let's be good human beings. Get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me more. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel. And for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10. Click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.